So I have the Alcoa rims pretty much done. They look amazing on this truck. This truck looks absolutely wonderful. It's a little on the dirty side right now. But uh, yeah, this truck is uh, really looking nice. Really, uh, re really beautiful. I love those rims and those mud tires. This is just a two wheel drive truck. So I wanted something that was super aggressive and the those mud tires certainly offer that. Look at that, that's a beauty. That's a 96 F-150 XLT. In yeah, really, really nice truck. So I guess maybe I'll go over some of the things I've done for this. So I bought, um, let's see, four, eight, nine. I bought nine tires for this truck. I bought a set of winter tires that are studded and a set of summer mud tires for these. I bought a brand new spare. I bought four rims and I have two extras in the barn. Bought the toolbox and filled it up with stuff. I know this truck on camera looks a little on the purple side, but it is um, moonlight blue is the color. Gotta get that scratch fixed. I put, my, my brother and I put a two inch receiver on it. I mounted and balanced and finished all these tires, new valve stems all the way around on everything. I bought a seat cover, brand new seat covers, which look great. I cleaned the whole interior. I mentioned the toolbox, that's all full of tools. I changed the engine oil. Uh, what else did I do? I still need to paint those windshield wipers. They're looking uh, pretty pretty rusty still got to clear the roof you can see the clear coats peeling on the roof of this truck because it was down in the Florida Sun and that has baked it baked it right off I had to put in a new uh, driver's door latch mechanism on the inside because I could not get out of the truck here I think it was just kind of worn out from people going in and out of it I put um, there's some new suspension parts on the front. This tire here was wearing funny, so I put brand new uh, coil shocks and uh, the gas struts or whatever you call them. Uh, two of those on each side. I have only uh, just installed one leaf spring on here. I have the second leaf spring to do. These are the medium set. They have um, three sets of leaf springs this uh, the ones that were on it were the cheap ones and I bought the middle set the other ones were I think four four hundred maybe six hundred all I think they were six hundred dollars for two so that was uh, th that was just becoming too much money for me to spend also have to put on um, two new of the coil or sorry the gas struts whatever you call them uh, back here also and what else have I done? Oh, this was a big deal. A big job. Oh, hopefully you guys can see. Can you see the new gas tank? Put a nice blue gas tank in underneath this thing. Uh, the old one had uh, sprung a leak and it was full of probably 12 gallons of gas. So I have kind of just painted stuff. I noticed the suspension parts on this truck were quite rusty the stuff that holds the suspension parts so I ended up uh, just kind of painting that I fluid filmed the tank and stuff underneath there and up above so I'll uh, this truck will get painted black up underneath I'm just trying right now to just uh, get as much of the rusting to stop as possible but being that this truck is a two-wheel drive truck, it is uh, not good in snow, which is probably why it has stayed as nice as it has, because no one, you know, it doesn't really go that good in snow. It still needs wax, it still needs a good washing, but uh, all in all, it's um, really shaping up to be a pretty nice truck. The dual tanks are nice, uh, this rear tank is fine, but this front one was not uh, it was leaking because I had been um, pounding on this to try to get this leaf spring out, but hey, it is uh, it is what it is, right? It was uh, rusty up underneath there, and I guess I'll show you in the toolbox also. Uh, this is a nice DZ toolbox. Um, it had, it's uh, kind of, 
oxidized a bit, so I might want to clear that, but this kind of oils paper towels. I have an air compressor, a full-size aluminum racing jack. I got my Marvel's Mystery Oil for the upper cylinder lubricant. Got some rain axe, uh, brake fluid, just kind of a uh, tool kit, an oil filter, and I have um, some hitch two-inch receiver stuff in here, which is very heavy. This uh, one here is a four... Boy, I hope I can get this thing out of here. Yeah, there you go, four... You know, it's, I think this came from Walmart, actually, but I have that, and then I have a drop hitch also. Uh, what else do I have around here? I have a whole thing of ratchet straps, uh, jumper cables, more filters, oh, I have a tire plug kit, engine oil, I said the ratchet straps, um, there's a wiring harness that for the four pin for the towing, uh, gear oil for the rear end, uh, and set of adjustable wrenches. I have a four way in there, and what else? I have extra lug nuts, um, fix a flat, and I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, this uh, this tool kit, this toolbox, this thing was not cheap. It uh, set me back. Set me back about uh, 300 and almost 350 dollars, but it uh, sure fits the truck really nice. But yeah, here you can see the clear coat all peeling off and everything. So I'll have to sand that all down and re-clear it myself, I guess. But thought you guys might like to have an update on the truck here. Something else I did. Uh, I also want to do, I want to put either maybe some running boards on here, but I mainly want to put some um, mud flaps on this truck. It needs it because these spots, this here, right there, and right in here, right where uh, everything rots out first on these vehicles. So I want to um, maybe put some diamond plate, carry the diamond plate up from the, or down from the uh, toolbox and have some diamond plate chrome looking uh, mud flaps on this thing and maybe even a uh, some sort of some sort of a uh, a step or something up there I, I think that'd be nice but those mud tires definitely throw the dirt and stuff so I might um, I might want to do that pretty soon but yeah those rims look pretty good mud tires on my pavement princess so hope everyone enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and hopefully we will see you all in the next one Thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't filmed much of this. I just kind of wanted to get this stuff done. And you guys can just see the uh, final, final thing as I'm done with it. So thanks for watching. And we will see you all in the next one.